Hey everyone, Chief here, and uh, I'm just going to do a short video today. I finished a PR um, from the last um, hacking with video that I did on um, Electron and Matterfront, uh, which is a uh, cross-platform native client for desktops uh, of the Mattermost uh, chat server. What I'd like to show you real quick is just um, if you're an end user, how you or a developer, how you would quickly install and set up hang on, I'm getting feedback. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so I'm going to share my screen and just show you how this install will be done real quick uh, and launch uh, Mattermost natively uh, without using Chrome. So this is going to be done all on the command line. And first you'll need to make sure that you have... Um, Git and Node installed for this. So I am using Git version 2.5 and uh, any version of Node 0 0.12 or greater. So Node 4.0 or IOJS 2.0 or greater would also work. And what we're going to do is uh, clone down our project here. And right now, you'll have to clone uh, my fork of this. I have a pull request out that um, should be accepted within the next 24 hours or so. So this um, same process will work. You just use a different URL in the end. Um, and you would just run git clone. And I've already done this. And I cloned it into my code slash Matterfront directory. So you would then CD into the directory you cloned into. And after uh, you do that, you'll run npm install. And then you'll run npm link. And what npm link does is set up a uh, sim link. So when you're inside the Matterfront folder then, it acts as if this Matterfront module, which isn't published to NPM yet, uh, it acts as if it's globally installed. So that when you're within this directory, you can reference the binaries uh, that are installed within it. And what we're going to do here, the first thing I want to do is just show you how you would launch the client itself. So look at this directory, you'll notice that I have a config.json file. Now, after you do your npm install, you will not have a config.json file. It's very easy to create this. You can use any editor you want um, uh, to just uh, create. So I'll say touch config.json, and then I'm going to edit this file. And what I'm gonna do is connect to the uh, Mattermost core team on their public server. So this is a very simple file. Uh, the directions are in the readme contained within this folder or accessible on the GitHub link. And you just uh, put in your URL as a uh, JSON property and then the value of it would be the URL for your Mattermost server. If you are doing local development, uh, I'll show you how that works in a, in a minute. Um, 
but you would just change this URL to your local IP address that you can get with your Vagrant server. After you have that done, all you need to do to launch this is type npm start. And Matterfront will load up uh, your Mattermost server. So And here we have a desktop app. And I can now communicate with anyone on here. Uh, from the native client, it looks like we've actually got uh, some communication going on there. So that's how you um, would connect to, say, a public uh, production Mattermost instance. Uh, you would substitute it with that. Let me show you real quick how to do, um, before I show you the build, how to do a local server. So say you want to contribute to the Matterfront project. Um, what you don't want to have to do is uh, connect to or maintain like a DigitalOcean server or an Amazon AWS server. Uh, you may want to, um, but uh, the cheaper method would be to do everything locally. And so what I've developed is a way for you to use Vagrant to emulate that cloud server right on your very own local machine. So Vagrant is a... Uh, virtual machine manager and you can see more details about it in my last live cast but this is just uh, some setup instructions for how that machine is set up and what this does is it automatically installs Mattermost to a server and it's accessible on your local workstation at this IP address at 192.168.33.33 and assuming you have Vagrant installed correctly, which you can check by just typing Vagrant version, what you should be able to do is after cloning this project, you CD into it and then you just type Vagrant up. And the first time you run this, um, depending on if you have the Ubuntu box up on your system, uh, it might take anywhere from one to five minutes to uh, do the initial setup and install, but on subsequent vagrant ups, uh, what you'll have is what just you just saw there. It's a very quick launch process. Now what I'm going to do is alter my config. We'll say 192.168.33.33. And I am going to npm start. And now I've connected to a local Matterfront or Mattermost instance. And what this allows me to do is basically work on Matterfront, the app, and see all my changes instantly. This will sync all of your code, all of your local changes um, back into that uh, virtual server as they're being made and the Docker container doesn't have any email verification or anything like that so you could just say do this And now I have my own local instance that I can use to test against for any of my development of the Matterfront client. So this is a 
open source project that you can contribute to. It's main, maintained by, um, I have a hard time pronouncing his name, so I'm going to look at it as I say it, Loic. I'm not going to do the injustice of trying to pronounce his last name because uh, I know I'll I'll mess it up. But um, you can see his uh, project URL here. So the last thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to hit Control C to stop this, is show you how to do a build. Uh, so this what a build does is it creates an executable for any of the platforms that you'd like to distribute. Um, an executable version of the client to, to say, users within your team or uh, organization. So I'm going to alter my config.json again. And we'll be updating this process soon so that you don't actually have to do like a config.json to set this up. You can pass it in as uh, command line variables for testing or during production. Um, you'll actually have uh, a UI, an admin UI, to set these things up. So you won't have to have any uh, technical knowledge around uh, operating systems and stuff like that if you want to be an admin for a matter front instance of Mattermost. I'm going to change this back to the team for... And all you need to do, uh, the easy way, if you want to, I have it set up so by default it produces a build for every architecture and platform. So that means every 32 and 64-bit system for Linux, um, Windows, and Mac. You would just do npm run build. Make sure that that's... I haven't updated that. Yep. If you run build. And this will go out and well, let me remove these. It'll go out and download the correct binaries for Electron, which is the engine that runs Matterfront as a native client. It's a shell to allow you to um, create native clients for um, any system using just HTML and JavaScript. And it puts those executables into the dist folder. And you can see here that there is a folder for each one of the different executables. So Darwin is uh, Mac and Linux. There are there's a 32-bit and 64-bit, and Windows is the same, a 32-bit and a 64-bit. Um, I'm going to CD into Darwin one just to show you what this looks like. And this matterfront.app is actually executable. You can see the uh, executable bit is flipped on it there in the um, to the far left in the column. It says drwxr. What that means is I can go to my code here, the folder, and matter front and dist and this is actually a 
executable applications. So I could drag this into applications or I could uh, drop it down to my dock. But either way, I double click on it and it launches Matterfront with the uh, build that I had configured in the config.json. So there you have it. Um, that is how you would either launch or build uh, the Matterfront native client for Mattermost on any system. If you run into any bugs or troubles with this, uh, open a ticket at either um, github.com slash L-L-O-E-K-I slash Matterfront or at my version of the repo, um, which is H3 chief slash Matterfront. Thanks for watching and see you next time.